ship foundered. Hey team, is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Got an awesome video with the Yo Yang. Yes, Yo Yang, as the title of the video is, 1.2 Reload Legendary Mod. And again, caveat is this probably only works if you're playing the mode that we're playing in now, which is the Arms Ray. So, and anyways, before we begin, appreciate all those that support the channel. Like, subscribe, bell button below, and thank you guys. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support. We're on our way to 700 subscribers right now. I'm just having a blast learning about sailing ships, shooting ships, and having a blast at the same time. So. The Yoi Yang, uh, one of, um, I would say, an interesting class of destroyers. It's like a gearing, essentially. It's almost identical. Uh, gearing, I know it had the update where it was, uh, I believe it was raised either out of the water or lower in the water, make it more, I guess you could say, viable and feasible to play in today's meta. But I think it's, Yoi Yang is the same thing. It's really hard to shoot at. It's like really low in the water. Uh, but the really selling thing is the torpedoes. Their deep water torpedoes have like a point ridiculous something detection range. I think it was like 0.9, maybe 0.6 or 0.9. But you literally only got maybe about a second or two to really react to it. Uh, and that is why I like it really um, and so much, especially in randoms where you have a plethora of cruisers and battleships. And the reload booster that has gotten has really given the Yo Yang a really competitive advantage, especially being a very strong deterrent on the battlefield right now because it just sends a wall, as you're going to see in a minute, a wall of lead in the water, if you will, torpedo lead, that is, and uh, it's really awesome. But, um, but what I built for this one and what I wanted to really try out is uh, a radar build, of course, but in order to do a radar gunboat DDD, you got to have guns, right? you got to have the fast reload, and initially, Yo Yang only really has a four second to something to reload the base, but when you build down to it, it doesn't it's still not good enough, I believe. And and what the legendary mod does, it gives you a little bit extra um, I think it's like an extra 18 to 20 percent reload, which does make slight of a difference. And in an arms race, if you keep getting the reload boosters, you're gonna get this thing down, as you can see, a really really fast reload rate, where we actually take on a Sherman by ourselves. And uh, it really, really pays off. But you're going to see that gunboat action later in the video. But right now, let's talk about some of the gameplay right now with the Yo Yang. And you can see uh, I'm not aggressive in it, uh, even though I have a radar. Uh, the radar is really kind of a last-minute caveat. If a DD in front of me smokes up, boom, we got him. But really, I'm here to spot with a great concealment of about uh, 6 point. Well, actually, not anymore. It used to be 5.9, but with Legendary Mod, it makes your concealment worse which we, you can see right now it's out to 6.6, .6, which is not the end of the world. It's not the greatest, but not the worst as well. It's right in the middle, smack dab of average destroyer. Uh, AA is crap like always, so we get spotted to the moon uh, if a plane's flying over us and it really doesn't do much. Uh, but again, the selling point of the legendary mod here is gunboat action. So we have a decent amount of range. You know, we can reach out to 11.9 kilometers and our uh, deep water torpedoes run out to, and there's that pesky Sherman shooting us. Don't worry, we'll have the last laugh later in the video. But we're really just running away and making sure we don't die. I mean, we can't do anything if we're dead. The HP pool is about 22.5. So, eh, standard tier 10 kind of a destroyer. But we're really here to spot 6.6 uh, .6 kilometers is okay enough for us to stay away. Spot our 13 and a half uh, deep water torpedoes helps out. So you notice I'm just loitering here. I'm just going around and around, loitering, spotting, and kind of analyzing the battlefield to see, hey, where can I inflict the most damage? Where are the, the bad guys going? Where are the good guys going? And it gives you, it gives you, but also gives everyone kind of a clear picture of what we're going to do as the uh, submarines. Have I told you how much I don't like submarines right now? Uh, yeah, I don't like submarines at all. I think they should be banned from the game. That's my opinion. Uh, I don't play them. I refuse to play them. Uh, I just don't think they're, I mean, this game I started with no, no submarines. What, why add them later? I don't know. You could say the same thing about uh, carriers, but carriers did actually, you know, you could, you could say carriers actually made an important change and adjustment of the World War II in reality, but this is not reality. This is a simulation where we're playing, we're shooting. Because think about it, Call of Duty, and uh, when you're playing Call of Duty, uh, you don't have uh, the capabilities that real warfare would have, right? Uh, you really were just running, gunning, and capturing flags and shooting. It was just literally soldier versus soldier, not drones, F-16s, and helicopters fighting out on the battlefield constantly. You want to play that, play Battlefield. Uh, but not even the battlefield, not to the extent of what reality warfare really is, you wouldn't have a clear advantage. Obviously, it's a game, it's got to be balanced and whatnot. But in my opinion, submarines don't really play a role in this sense because really they're kind of a gimmick in the sense of they could, in reality, a submarine could go out there, be remain undetected, fire torpedoes from a distance, and just destroy everything in its path. 
um, and that's how they're utilized effectively. And then on the other side, we don't have the same capabilities to fight submarines. I mean, a destroyer has to drive over a submarine to depth charge it, which is almost not the, the kind of meta you want to have in this kind of game. And also, uh, and we hit our torpedoes right there, but also we didn't, uh, hydrophones and acoustics and everything radar could spot DD, uh, submarines way out in the distance. Not where we, I can, ha in order to spot them, I got to be almost right on top of them or if they surface and I pop a radar. So uh, a lot of things I have gripes about. Anyways, I digress. This is your Yang video. Uh, the, uh, the other topic we'll talk about is how I don't like tier, si uh, tier 8 clan bows right now. I'm not liking it at all. I think we've been playing tier 10 so much that I've been accustomed to the style of gameplay you're seeing right now, which is 10 tier 10 gameplay, tier 10 level of play, but tier 8 is just, in my opinion, awful. I mean, the ships are slower, the dispersion's awful, the accuracy's not there, secondaries don't go as far as I would like to, the accuracy's not there as well, the types of ships don't have as much armor, they're not as fast, it's a very, very slow game, game style gameplay, because we've been playing tier 10 so much, I'm used to the fast pace and movement of all the ships as well as the survivability of them the heals uh the ability to um you know have good dispersion a lot of those things as well you can see some of the gunboat action we're having right now against the uh, daring he is a very fast gunboat so we don't want to duke it out with him one-on-one -on -one, and he's outside our radar range so again we go undetected run away come back fight another day uh, again you notice that style gameplay i'm doing right now just going left and right circle back and forth back and forth while we're shooting these torpedoes out and who hopefully we get this azuma right here will he hit one Come on, baby. Ooh, this looks good. This looks good. Yeah, it's really hard to dodge these things. I mean, the, the deep water torpedoes have a very, very um, short reaction time, if you will. But anyways, we take him out with a nice shot from the Riga there. Good job. Des Moines takes out the Daring. Fletcher takes out Zuma. We have now leveled the playing field, almost like a raffle stomp here. Uh, we pretty much pushed everybody out, and it looks like we have kind of had the game. And here's that pesky Sherman I was talking about earlier. We're going to go ahead and take him on. Uh, I think uh, we've almost got this match in the bag. We've got a radar ready to go. We've got the reload, we've got Adrenaline Rush kicking in, so we're going to take it on, take on the Sherman 101 the best we can to help out our key over here. Um, that's one thing I like about team play in this game, too, is like, look, I actually saw that the key is off by himself against the Destroyer, not the fairest match, so we're going to go and help him out, and I, that's really good in the sense of team play, where you support your teammates, know their capabilities, and know what you can do to come by and help your, your friend, your teammate out. But anyways, I digress. Going back to tier six clan battles, or tier eight clan battles, that is. Um, I don't like it in the sense uh, of just, and, and especially since they lowered to six versus six, which I'm like, why did they take one away? And usually clan battles is seven versus seven. I don't know what the thought process is right there. It's kind of weird. And only allowing one battleship too, it's just also kind of wonky. I wish they would go back to, uh, you know, I wish it would be bigger clan battles, honestly. Let me know what you think below about what I'm talking about. Any topics I'm talking about today of just, uh, you know, either subs or clan battles or this gameplay, the meta. It's just kind of just all over the place today. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the Delarna. We look, check out my other video that spots the Delarna and we talk about uh, what the capabilities are. Maybe that'll add some more fun, more super ships. Oh, yeah, super ships. I mean, having super ships in the game now, what do you think about that? It's just tier 11, basically. It's just another way to, you know, make money. Uh, Sherman's just running off in the distance. I know his uh, spotting range is about seven and a half, seven point two, I believe, or if he builds a concealment, six point six, right here, six point six. And there it is. Ooh, I got a submarine again. Hey, look at the submarine torpedoes coming at me while I'm pinged. I have no idea where the submarine's at. It's almost unfair advantage right there. Uh, at least with everybody else, they can shoot me. I can see them. Here, I have to have somebody spotting for me, like the key spots this, the submarine. But then again, I can't do anything about it. I have to either. You know, I, even if I shoot my guns, they hit the, the water, and he's underwater at the perfect range, depth. I can't do anything about it. I have to be on top of him to depth charge and exposing my... Okay, here we go. We're going to take on the Sherman right here, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this. Let's see how we do this. Here he comes. He's going to pop out around the corner. Key goes down to a submarine. Isn't that ridiculous? Anyways, uh, either we take on the submarine or we take on the Sherman. Now I'm off by myself here. This is scary. Ooh, here we go. Here's the Sherman right there. He's got almost full health right there. We're going to go ahead and swing the guns. And we're going to start shooting right here. And just watch the ability of the HE shells. I wouldn't switch to AP. Switch to keep an HE right now. If he pops smoke, I pop radar. So that's how it balances. And one of our guns goes down. So DPM cut in the third right there. We got a little help with shot action right there. But anyway, we're going to keep firing. Reload the guns. And look at the reload. 1.7. Let's see. Can we duke it out? Angle it away from sap shells. He should have switched to HE. We're going to keep firing. And keep firing. Keep firing. Can we get it? And boom. RIP back to 40. He is down. That is our splash one for the day. And we are almost dead, though. Uh, notice how slowing down and angling does kind of throw off some of his shots and saved us about 600 damage. 
and good thing we are healing as well in the arms race. Again, that's the only difference with arms race. You get heals, you get reload rate. That's kind of like non-realistic, but that only works in this game mode, guys. But uh, really, the Yu Yang, if Adrenaline Rush uh, kicked in and the basic standard gameplay, I think I could get the reload down to maybe two seconds-ish. But you can see, man, we were shooting pretty fast. This thing is devastating if you can get it down to one and a half second reload. Uh, but uh, really, really fun with the Good gun boating, radar, torpedoes. It's got everything it needs. Uh, just no smoke. And there's the other submarine right there. And we're swinging guns as fast as we can to it. He services. Oh, and he gets taken out by the Riga. Thank you, Riga. Good teamwork right there. And that is how the cookie crumbles. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the video below. Like, subscribe, bell button below. On our way to 700 subscribers. And that is how we win the game in the Yu Yang. I like the legendary mod. What do you guys think? Is it a good mod? Is it not? Uh, fast reload. I really like Yu Yang. It's a very souped up kind of gearing kind of thing. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the gameplay. Let me know again uh, if you guys have anything for me. And number one on the team right there. And we had a blast doing it. Until next time, guys, stay safe. And we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.